Hi, this is Gabe Belanger from Computer Geeks on Call. I just wanted to cover off the wireless internet connection. So I'm using Windows Vista Professional here. So the way that we should deal with this is first by clicking on the start button and then by going to either connect to or control panel. So to make life a little simpler, I'm going to click on control panel because everybody should be able to get in there. So if you're looking at control panel here, there are two different views. There's the control panel home, which has these main categories. And the way we want to kind of use this is to go into uh, network and internet, click on it. And then we can choose to view network status and tasks. Now if we click on there, we see the network sharing center. Like I'm not connected. <laughs> so it does say here wireless networks are available. So why don't we choose to connect to a network? So if I do that, boop, I get this little window up here. And the cool thing about it is that I'm able to see all the wireless connections that are close to me. So the first thing to mention is CGOC internal. That is my wireless connection. And it's when you put your mouse over, it just pops up and it tells you the security type. Let's get that up again. The security type is WPAPSK802.11N, so that's the type of security. Uh, this is my repeater, WPA2PSK, so that just repeats my signal. So what I have to do is connect here. Now, why do I see this? Well, that's my neighbor, and you can see their security type is WEP. Um, so what's actually happening is my wireless connection kind of works like a radio uh, old style radio would work where the radio tower is the wireless routers in my area and the radio receiver is my wireless adapter in my laptop here. So my wireless laptop's adapter is acting like a radio, like your normal radio. And then you know how you have radio towers? Well those are like the wireless routers that are in my area. So the green items over here indicate the signal strength. So obviously I'm really close to my wireless router. It's like a, f a couple feet away. So the signal strength is, is five bars, which is really good. My repeater is quite a ways away and its signal strength is four bars. This one here is pretty strong and that's at least around, I don't know, 50, 80 feet away uh, in, in my neighbor's house. So if I tried to connect here, I would have to know the password and I don't. So why don't I connect to my wireless network? Now, why does it say CGOC internal? Well, I named that, that's called the SSID. And if I put my pointer there again, it'll show at the bottom, SSID, CGOC internal. I named my wireless connection. I set up the, all the security. The fact that it says security enabled means there's a password. If it didn't say security enabled, uh, it would say unsecure wireless network. That means by double clicking it, I would connect to it. So the fact that it's security enabled means I must type in a password. So when I double click this connection, or if I highlight and click connect, let's just double click, it tries to connect to CGOC internal, my wireless connection. Now, the fact that I've already typed in my password means that it will connect automatically. So I click close, and now my little kind of graphic shows that I'm connected on the internet, and I see my signal strength. Now, I'm just gonna do a little bit more to kind of uh, explain how this works. If I click on view status, this gives us a lot more information. Now, the big thing that I like to look at, as I mentioned before, is sent and received. This is basically saying, can my wireless send and receive information? How can we test? Well, let's open Internet Explorer, and let's kind of, whoop, bam, bam. let's kind of, uh, kind of get it out of our way. And you can see, whoa, sending and receiving, it is changing. And if I click on, you know, pretend I'm looking for a new career, of course that's not true, you can see my send and receive is changing. So that means my wireless connection is working. If these numbers don't change one or the other or both, it obviously means your wireless is not working. So something you can do real quick if you want to try to resolve this issue is you can go into the wireless properties and you can just check these out. Connect automatically when this network is in range. That should be checked and it'll automatically connect. That's what's so cool. So if you're near uh, the CGOC internal wireless uh, network, it'll connect automatically. If that's unchecked, 
you have to manually connect every time. Connect to a more to a more preferred network if available. So you have this whole thing about preference. Normally these settings are not a big deal, but if you're having a lot of problems, maybe people have fiddled with them. Um, in terms of the security, aha, maybe someone has changed this and said, oh no, we want to use this kind of security, when really we need to use WPA personal with TKIP encryption on my wireless network. So um, if you know what your security type is, you can try modifying this and you may find that it will connect for you. Um, the other thing to mention is that it'll show the speed and the number of bars, like the quality um, of the connection. So that's how you get yourself connected over wireless in Windows Vista. And hopefully that'll help you out do it yourself.